Hey everyone, hello, I'm the Life Linto. And yesterday I recorded a live stream with Pablo Vasquez about diving into Blender code and asking some and answering some questions online. So today I decided to try something a bit different, which is basically trying to fix a bug. Not live, I'm recording this, but if that goes well, maybe we can even try something live next time. And let's go to it. So the bug I would like, I would like to, to address is this uh, stereoscopic related. So I was going over the tracker today, trying to see if there was any high priority bug. And since I was the main developer to implement stereoscopic in Blender, this is the one I could probably help. So if you want to see the bug, you can see it here. Basically, when you open a file, if the aspect ratio of the, the, the camera setting is not the same as the video you have in the se sequencer. When rendering, the right eye is all over the place. Okay? And if you change, this has already asked the correct, uh, correct aspect ratio. But if you change it, and then bingo, it's correct. It shouldn't be super hard to figure out because for one of the eyes is already correct. But I guess let's see how it goes. So the first step, whenever I want to fix uh, a bug like this, I really need to make sure I have a really nice uh, test file. Which this one is nice enough. Is the one, well, kind of the one sent in, in, in the bug report. But I think it'd be more convenient if I could just open Blender and have it right here. There you go. I read with the right image and just to play safe. Let's show here the left image. Okay. So if I just go here and render, bam, I already see the, the problem there. And I could even I think lock interface, make sure it doesn't pop up. That's fine. Leave it popping up. I don't care. The other thing is to save the file as my startup. But if I just go about in saving it and save it, next time I open Blender, the video might not be there because this is this was using relative file paths. So as you see, and then I should have so I should have converted to To, to, to absolute and so I just need the, the, the folder here and file. so what I what I actually do there you go I go here usually I go here go to external data make all paths absolute and then I go and make a default startup file okay bang it's right here the other thing I have changed it here is the splash screen so it doesn't come on my face, doesn't pop up in my face every time. So if I just open Blender and render, I can see whether or not it fixed the problem. Okay, so now how to go about this problem in particular. I know the area in question, which is the, um, which is a video sequencer. So I know some of the part of the code because I had to do this originally when I was implementing this for, for 2.7. That's the thing, like this doesn't happen in 2.7. So if you go to 2.74, 7.5, 7.9, it works fine. So it's good to know that it was working at some point. So honestly, what I'm going to do, I'm going about just going to chase down these resolution settings and see. I don't know. Let's let's improvise. So percentage scale for rendering render resolution. So let's try to find this percentage scale. Oops, was was a two tip right? And that is, I think, there. That's okay. The size, I think, it's R point size, if I'm not mistaken. Blah blah blah. But let's um, now pretend there's no camera here, and I'm not talking to everyone, so I can actually focus on approach the way you would it. This is the NLA. It's not the sequencer. Sequencer effects. So, for instance, this is the this is being used for one of the sequencer settings. 
trying to think what can be the problem actually. Uh, render size. Like why? Why would it? Why would it read correctly the first pass and not the second one? Huh. I have no idea. I have no idea. So preview render size, something else. And unlikely like a real live stream or something. This might be very in uninteresting. <laughs> but as is as a video you can also just uh, go ahead. And just came over it. I don't think Sprox related. Uh, 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 why did not? I'm intrigued actually. So first let's try to see if, because I don't really remember the... Okay, I don't think it goes here. I don't really remember the entire path of the of the sequencer editor. So I don't remember what's actually been called. So let's just add a breakpoint to this function because I think this function is related. Uh, should be every time you create the inbooth. Inbooth is the image buffer Blender has. Maybe should increase this a little bit. Yep. Okay. What's up? Oops. And I think I could put some music, right? <laughs> That's gonna be a very quiet video. And again, just render. And it's wrong, and that's okay. But the other thing is that it didn't call my breaking point, so. I'm just gonna add the other scene here. Oh, it's already calling the breaking point. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, here probably call it. No. I already have a feeling that the issue might be related to, to, to caching. So this already have a good idea of where the function is being called from. So if you just do a backtrace, you can see here. But anyways, it's easier to do it this way. So blah, 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 blah. First things first. So let's go here. <laughs> Let's do it differently. Let's add a <clears throat> breakpoint here. So continue here. Oops. Let's add a breakpoint here and delete the first breakpoint and continue. I think I have other instances of Blender. Let me just close so I don't get confused. Now that's the one that's valid. That's the one no one cares about. Yep. So we're gonna delete again the scene. This is probably gonna trigger the the code did it twice. Again. Did it once and did it twice. Did it three times, four times. Huh. The thing is that we kind of read everything even when, honestly, if I hide here, it should be fine. Now it's simpler because if I change the frame, it doesn't trigger that function. Let me save the the default again. Oops. And 
now if I render that's interesting oh it's, I was wondering like why it's not uh, didn't stop it did stop just let me see how many times it stopped so once and twice which we assume is once for each eye if I render again does it cache anything hope not so once and twice just to play to play extra safe now oops forgot to no get out I will turn off the the, the, the multi view just to be complete completely sure that issue is has been called twice because of the multi view bang disabled just render again, call it once, and that's it. And of course, since uh, multiview is disabled, you're gonna see the image as it was originally at the input, which is a top bottom image. The problem is not, I think I know where the problem is. The problem has to be in reading the, the video file. So the first one is fine. Don't even want to, to investigate further. Now let's go down here. In booth sequencer, get cache. It's probably gonna be empty. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, actually it's not empty. Uh -oh. Can they get? But I'll, I'll try different route now because this is all fine and blah blah blah. Because I think I really think the problem is when reading the, the image format, and I know I have in Blender uh, in, a, in a few different parts in the code, different code to deal with different image format depending on the in, on the input. So this is the top bottom. So let's actually go for the look at the code that actually uses this top bottom. I think I probably this probably like this. Nope. Yeah. So that's the file for sure. The stereo in buff. And I really think that part of the problem. Why is this code even different? Okay, read the dimensions, write the dimensions. Since I'm in the read dimensions. And I want to um, breaking. Let's add here to make it simpler. Here I want this function, which is just uh, and I want I want in this case to show the with oh, a size t. Let me try if uh, with it. Could just put a breakpoint here, but sure, let's just put a breakpoint there. Now it's it has no problems reading the the image dimension, so it shouldn't be here the problem. But let's just play safe. Playing safe. So now I want to actually add a breakpoint here. And I want to delete the second breakpoint. So if I continue, uh, I to do with it. So that seems to be about right. Is it though? Ah, it should be, of course. And let's just to be safe, just do it again. Yeah, it's totally right. Should do a donor. Oops. Oh. NP. And this should be right. So the problem is not here. So this is correct. 
Mm, let's let's read this thing here. Steer 3D. I find the GDB so primitive sometimes. <sighs> X twenty eighty fourteen four uh, fourteen forty. If I do it again, so that's for the second one. I like to use more like strained numbers when I'm in doing those things. Okay, let's do it again. Actually, here should be. Uh, so we are using the same right uh, width it and high. Uh, it makes no sense. It may. Mm -hmm. And of course, because it's, it's the same way both, to both of them. But does it mean that we're running? Okay. Now. Very quiet video. Yeah, let's uh, honestly, let's look at some code here. Because the problem is either on reading the, Im the, the, the video or on showing it. This video is not the best video, to be honest. That would work better if I had like a very clear, uh, maybe I should do that, like a very clear um, color that I could tell apart the top and bottom, so I could see uh, in different ways. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna add a bunch of printing statements. I find it is easier than... So this technique of bug fixing, I call it just chasing the the rabbit hole. Kind of go try to apply some intuition to this whole thing, but honestly, it's really just. You just just uh, try to follow the leads and see where do where do they get where do they get us? Yeah, because this is happening for both of them, so it doesn't make sense for this one to be wrong. Otherwise, the other one would be wrong as well. Um, so I really think, huh? I'm thinking. Consider to go back to the. Render size, oh boy. <sighs> the chaos of bug fixing. That's on sequence draw. I don't think I actually try to. I don't think I try to save the image. To be honest, let's open a new Blender just to leave the other one as it was. Just have it here. So if I try to save the image, let's put it here. Let's create a new folder for us. <laughs> Save it as individual ones. Perfect. Tonus, you can just thumbnails. Yeah, it's definitely wrong. Are they the same size even? 
they must be. Let's find the most convolute, convoluted way to, to check this out. Yeah, they have the same size. Uh, actually, if I had a distinct, very distinct color for both of them, I probably wouldn't even be able to tell the the problem. Like, what's happening? So is it is it when reading? So what does Blender do? Should be in the scaling, right? When you're, what happens? in the sequencer when the input has a different size than the output? I think that's the, actually the question you should have asked 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Let's close this so you don't get confused. Thank you. So... <laughs> delete every single breakpoint here. Uh, for each view, calculate stuff. Uh, I'm always suspect of anything that only runs for a Actually, I think this is running for both views, but is it though? It's not. Check this out. Um, let's do a breakpoint here. Yeah, just run. What? No, it's not even stopping my breakpoint, but still, let's go there. We are on sequencer. Okay. Because check this out. If for if here, we're, if you're running this for every single view, yet for this one here, we're doing only for the current view. This actually should be fine. Cut it if it should be fine. <sighs> if it's multiple, it is multiple. Uh, render move strip, open animation file is multiple, system number files. You know, we keep going back and forth. I still think uh, the issue is probably, it's probably related to the, it's definitely related to the scaling, of course. But we had the same problem I didn't show here, but even if the width and height is different without playing with the percentage of the render, we have the problem that sometimes even on the first one, on the, on the left image, uh, which leads me to think lead me to think that the problem is in the scaling, as if it's only scaling. Uh, sometimes, not always. <sighs> Let's dive again. Ugh. Oh boy. This doesn't matter. I still have a feeling that this might be might, might have to do with this. So let's just change this number. Oops. To anything really, and then uh, let's see, can be a problem. And I'll compile here. Looks cooler. Ah, uh, yeah. Blah 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 blah. Let's just. That is fine. Let's just 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 remove. Pen. Oops. And I think, hopefully, but I'm not that, that, hopefully that's enough to break both eyes equally. And then you know that the problem is that we're doing something only for one of the eyes, not for both of them. It's still, let's finish, let's, oh, this is the, 
I'm gonna close the this kill. Okay. Nope. It's fascinating, right? Because if it didn't break anything, then what's the point of this line even? Anyways, let's ah, let's continue. Uh, I will go back to, to look at how the let's make it bigger. Would it be here? Would it be here? Mm, I think here probably probably sequence edit. I'll just no. It is not being called. This is not being called. So I think it's somewhere here on, on the edit file. Good. The code we're looking at is actually commented out, so it doesn't exist. So it's definitely not in sequence edit. Sequence draw shouldn't really be, given that the file implies we're only handling if drawing. But go figure. Let's see what it's doing. Sequence draw, sorry. Oh, I didn't copy. I did copy. You have my hand right now, right now, right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, all this commented out code should just be removed once and for all. Does that happen for different, that's a pretty good question. Does it happen for different image types? So if instead of being top bottom, if it's a, for instance, anaglyph, right? It does, see how interesting, how different. So this is assuming, anyways, huh, I like it, which means, oh, this is the, uh, the, the, <laughs> the file, the value we changed exactly here, Jesus. Um, this is good, but it's not specific to the top bottom. I, I, I have a feeling that you're looping, you're setting some val values for the first loop. And to handle Stars copy or changing some, and I think maybe we're changing some value inside the loop and not setting back to the original value. I don't know. I mean, I'm back to grasping at straws here. I don't want to go to 2.7. The code is changed too much to be relevant. But one thing we can do is, for instance, you know what we can do? Actually, that would help us tremendously. Um, so if right now, they'll work. How can I try? So basically, if I was to call Blender and this is where I build my Blender. Cause right now I'm visually checking the, the issue. And we want to to render render frame one. I don't care. Now you see, it's uh, let's open, let's open, let's open. This is correct, and this should be wrong. 
yes so which means I don't even need to open blender to to run into the issue of course whenever I want to try if the if it's fixed I definitely want to do that but it means I can actually more easily um, oops no acceptable I'm gonna quit it's easier clear uh, GDB GDB is, this is a bit of my own aliases and, and shortcuts so not that reproducible so we are 30 minutes in we didn't do a lot of progress but what can you do so so what I was curious about is this function here if it's getting the values correctly so my computer's being a bit slow but that's okay yeah so now when it runs it's gonna, be, it's gonna already try to really that's very disappointing I just prepo check VSC sequencer Hmm. Why are you not taking my arguments? And let's be a bit more radical. Remember, we were here. I think there must be something wrong with my my commands. Let's try here. Does that work? I think I need to do gdb dash dash. Let's kill this. Has to be GDB dash dash uh, arguments, something like that. I can find this out on my alias. Yeah, dash dash args. GDB. Jesus. There we go. So uh, GDB dash dash args blender um, background. Oops. That should do. And uh, that's why at some point you might want to set up your VS Code to handle the bugging from within it. I just never bothered. <clears throat> I'm not doing a lot of coding nowadays either. I do every now and then. Like the Bitcoin 2, Bitcoin 3, we need to address the high priority bug. So those occasions I definitely try to help. But I end up spending most of, my, most of my time helping to make sure everyone's working correctly. I really suspect this function is not working well. And okay, something is not working here. It's heartbreaking, I know. It's breaking at some point before. So no problem. We're gonna do the old fashioned way, which is just printing a bunch of variables here. Sorry for wasting your time. I was not recording, would they have bothered? No. Well, I can still. Don't close. Okay. Oh, damn it. I can still debug it. Let's try both ways while it's loading there. You can still debug it and just don't do it automatically via command line. Because it's so much more convenient when you can just run the whole thing from command line. So you see. Anyways, function, I want to see this event, okay, I want to see the, the X. <laughs> One thing interesting to get here is the current view, which we have, I think we have on, on 
on here. So maybe can we can let's move it a bit down here. Okay. And view ID equal. Okay, that sounds about right. I'm gonna do two things. I wanna build this one, or I can try to 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 debug this. I really miss miss music. I've been now that now that I'm working from home, like every single day. Wow. Oh my god, that's why... So the other thing was correct. It wasn't stopping that point just because it wasn't being called. So this is probably only called when drawing, so indeed... Huh. <sighs> so indeed the debugging thing was correct. And just to be triple sure, did I build here? I think I did finish building, right? Yeah, I did. Oh. So if I do this from... No, no, but it should be called, so never mind what I said. So what the heck, is that, is that function ever called? Hmm. Why do we even use it, to be honest? Uh, mm, 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 mm. I have a suspicion. Which student one one help us here? Because here, since I decided to disable, that's going to be exactly that. Uh, do it. Since I changed the sequencer to not draw here, there we go. That's why this function has been called not been called when, from the command line. So we still have the same problem. Where is the Where is this being called? Not proxy, I don't care about proxy, it's same input preprocess. Oh my boy, what is this function even? Who calls you? Yeah, I think it's gonna be fast to try. Oops. using the debugger. My computer at work is a bit faster. That's a, a bit annoying. Like to wait that long for the debugging section to start is really not cool. Makes me want to look at the code while waiting. So it's kind of... So this is this render strip. I don't even have a stack to manage. Blah, 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 blah. Some people actually love to, that helps actually to like keep an old on the only code flow. You can probably do here. So we have like an idea of how things are going, blah, blah, blah. Let's 
it does help to keep notes sometimes in paper or in the computer it doesn't matter but let's go back here <sighs> Nothing new. It should be zero now. It's even pre processed. Pre processed. Nope. So this has gonna calculate. It's gonna see if there's a cache, and this is the something else. Sorry. Okay, it's not cached, good. Which means I both should be I am both should be no here. No proxy. Oh, uh, now that's the function then. Do render strip and cached. I made a breakpoint here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think this should still return nothing, right? Yep, because no. Okay, should be multiple, so that should be enabled. Shouldn't use proxy. Yeah, that's. That's correct. That should be now. This there's a big chance that this is true to the other to the other eye. Let's add a breakpoint here just for the second eye, just to triple check. Just open file. I don't know. If open file. And it's gonna. I kind of want to assume that this is not the problem, so at least when I'm doing those things, I, I need to decide which part of the of the code I trust, which ones I don't. This should be one dot files, right? And we have okay, total view should be two. So the first time you do it, you already created I buff to both views, which is the just like an array, like a buffer, like to, to store the video. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. How is this related to the buffer we create? The I buff array who determines I. This I here, I think it would be helpful to directly rename this to I and to declare only within this context. In other words, I'm changing here just to illustrate and honestly, it's actually useful to do those changes in here. Yep. So take I, remove it, 
int, I call it view ID. I don't remember if I call view ID or I in the... Um, in everything else in the code, but view ID should be fine. At least a bit more descriptive than I. Oh, I don't think you can declare, is it is that way? You cannot declare one thing if you plan to have two other thing here, it doesn't matter. But this is more clear. And yeah, there are some tools to rename things, but for what you're doing, it shouldn't matter. I'll look at that. Then it, it, it it's it's not bad per se, but here I would actually once again do. It's gonna complain. This I can do. I'm gonna anything is better than than I. So honestly, I'm gonna do just. Let's go do something different. Call this I buff view ID. So in this way, we make sure the variable is not used after the loop in in a way that's not intended. So this is like just a small cleanup since I'm going to the code. And now here we can actually make sure this is consistent. Blah, blah, blah. And here again. Okay. Oh, that's the, <laughs> that's the value we changed was what was I buff. Size X, I think. I can, as you can see, I can get very dispersed. Let me just save these, 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 these. Yeah, how was I both X and Y? And if you I cannot even remove. I'm using a git uh, alias, it's G here. Okay. Uh, that should make it a bit easier to read. But anyways, let's go back to debugging, debugging. So where were we? Here. No, no. Are we really here? No. And what we're gonna do now, if I just continue, it will... And so that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Since I... Since I changed change the source files, it kind of messed up when debugging. Anyways, my I I believe the what we have here is a case where it's loading the videos correctly. I should be I should have a better way to test that. But I think it's loading the videos correctly, correctly, because it's creating once for both views, and when reading back, it's not. Again, this video might be one hour long, maybe two hours long, maybe three hours long. Who knows? Every, so every now and then I like to, to close some of my windows, my bang, bang, leave it here, this is our 
Now it's trying to read the symbols and all that. Release stop. What did they do last time? All right, all right. Bennett, I think this is all correct. All right, so looping over. This, of course, is very strange, but doesn't happen. It's only. Now I think this is uh, when the image itself is at uh, two different images, how to read from it. Never mind. All seems correct. If this is all correct, Stop. Uh, where's the I still think the best course of action because I'm kind of being through like going try to be a bit more Semantic here. But the best course of action would be to go after the, the scene size. You know what? Let me try something here. Uh, so, in theory, this is going to be correct. Right? And then, are they actually different? Yes, but if I change this, because this is easier to track in the code. Let's change something else. Uh -huh. Okay, this makes no difference whatsoever. Now let's stick to this one. And let's close, close. You've been here, right? Can I get the cash? And blah blah blah. I'm going to skip some things like got the cache. And of course, I buff the size is going to be the final size. So now there's an I buff, blah blah blah. So no proxy. At some point, there's going to be a place to resize things, I believe. And what I want to do is just, I want to render here. Now this is the second eye, and we know this, I think if I do context, I can actually see here. Yeah, the view ID one. Okay. I can even see the size, 640 by 360. This is the, the original, oh, there's already split by half, so this is also correct. Huh, 
soft rights. Anyways, the thing is here is going to be already cached. Unlike the other one. Yeah. So what we're going to try to do is to make sure the cache always fails. Which I don't really think is the issue once again. That's what I'm thinking. Deployment the copy, blah, 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 blah. Oh, and I don't think it's a problem, but maybe it is. And this is also <sighs> so the problem might be when you're getting the result from the eyeball here. Actually, that's a pretty good question. What's the What's the dimensions here? They are correct for the first view. Should be for both of them. Now for the second view. Again. Could be still correct. Oh, good question. What if I try? Is the stamping working correctly? Correctly, that's really a good, a good, a good call. So stamping is we all know. Is the stamping options is in metadata? There we go. Let's see. Yeah, stamp is correct. I mean, just again, eliminating. Eliminating sources of the potential problem. Which means that the a buffer has a right size. Oh my. Boy, oh my god. I'm so lost here. Anyway, let's try the, the caching thing. So let's try to make sure it never caches. Where are we doing it? Uh, <laughs> I'll just run again. Goodbye, and this one. Here. That'd be enough. So we want this function to always be called, right? Might as well do. Uh, might not work entirely because it might work under the assumption that that is running for the first view. I guess we'll find out. Ha! Uh, but is the same image on both? No, no, it's the ha. <laughs> oh, so one hour mark, we find, I found a really, really good clue. 
So the cash system is basically making things not work, which makes sense because it was probably introduced with 2.83, 82, we have this cash which is recent. Oh, so happy. So if you see, that's the thing, right? So here and here, we see that it's definitely a different image. The 3D itself drawing is not working, the separate bug. <sighs> Happiness. Is there an option to actually disable cache? Is there, right? So let's so let's try to disable those options. So instead of hacking Blender, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a bunch of Which means, what does it mean then when the cache? So cache is not storing things correctly. You see the problem, right? Because if the, if the problem is retrieving something from the cache, Anyways, I could totally stop the video now, pretend it's a, it's a victory, it's a, it's a lot of progress. Normally, I could even stop now and go to the chat and then talk to the developer that implemented the, the recent cache and say, dude, how's the, um, like, which assumption you're, you're, doing, you're doing here, like during the cache, and try to discuss together, because they probably have a better clue. Because now I know exactly what's a, causing the problem, but I think we're gonna insist a bit further, but feel free to stop the video now. I will now test something again, this, this is then once again a vanilla blender, vanilla blender, which means it could be 2.83, I want to disable cache here, Let's see if some of those cache options, no. It's probably going to just going to make it worse because it's probably just no. So it definitely needs the oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Anyways, that's progress. Now I'll take a water, drink something. Oh. Actually, I still have the printing there, so let's actually do... Will that work? Yeah. Again, so I... Did what I did, just call it, just just, just, just render from the command line. As, as you can see, it helps to know how to use Blender to debug stuff. And this, the, indeed, the strip and cache is only being called once. Now why, if I call it once, so anyways, we're likely, we're, I'm excited. <laughs> I put like on the, on the mark of the video, one hour mark, excitement. Now why, is it because we're calling Sorry, is it because we're calling, is it because the buffer that is stored with the cache is the wrong one? And there's a good way to find that out, which is, I'll make sure, whenever we're trying to get the cache and the iBuff and everything, we're always gonna try to get the right eye. So let's quickly, Okay. Oops, no, it's correct. And then probably need to do this. No. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough.
So group views equal, let's try first always the zero one. And then here instead of <laughs> a big chance that I might mess things up if things are stored in the context. Can't I just, who's calling this? Nope, uh, who's calling this? Actually, never mind. If it's constant, it means that we can actually treat it as read-only. Read My concern is what if this function is changing something inside context and then might introduce a different problem, which I cannot, I won't find out later on. But uh, it'll happen because it's, con it's constant. So, pa, 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 yeah. And I don't need this. That's good enough. Since while build, I can explain quickly what I did here. I want to pass a different context variable which has every single setting from the original one, but the view ID because I want to make sure it's always a view ID zero. It probably works with the, the 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 one as well. But let's try with this one first. I put my camera up here, which I'm I never check. I'm probably blocking some of the text. But just so, because my camera is down, so I kind of look at the at people most of the time. And okay, now let's see. So just remember the 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 left eye is the one with this mark. Okay, and as you can see, it's still caching, but just. Just getting the buffer from one. Oh, and now let's build again. So what do I expect to happen? Well, that's the thing. Like if it if it shows the buffer correctly, it means hold on, it worked on the last time. Wow. Wow. Which means the problem is the cached information. Hold on, what's the... And then... Is it even the left uh, side? To check out, I can. <laughs> now here, it's just gonna show the one of them. I don't know if it shows the left or the right one here. Again, this is not the best file. Shame on me. Start saying that it's nice to have a good demo file. Should I spend one minute doing a better one? I should, but I don't think I will. So... So what the heck? Right? <laughs> so what the heck? So with one... Fascinating! I mean, it's because it's still showing the... Like this processing and then and, and store raw. Uh, like I didn't even I don't oh my god, I don't even know if that's the one that's uh that's calling.
That's, well, anyways. You say my da -da -da -da. Why? So does it mean the I buff itself is wrong? I want to do something now a bit more. So, so the first time that we are calling it, and of course this is totally overkill because I'm, I'm just gonna make sure that the first time it's called. It's <sighs> calling the correct one. Let me interrupt my the book section here. I feel like I should quickly, quickly, quickly create a better video file. We should do it by adding image bugs. Those are the ones you created today, right? I created so many times in my life the like a good left and right sample file. Uh, let's do it again. Let's do it with the 2.82 quickly. This is an example of the images I create every single time. Uh, this is right. I oh yeah um let's make it not multi view okay okay those are the uh, the images I was looking for where are they oh okay 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 quickly new and it's always to be uh, okay here video editing image I want it to be multi view I need to do it mm, elsewhere go here Turn on multi view for the entire scene or stereoscopy, stereoscopy. Take this trip and tell that this is supposed to be multi view, which is individual. Okay. And ignore the preview, that's uh, other bugs we have in Blender. And I want to render my whole thing as stereoscopy top bottom. Okay. And let's render 10 frames of this. So this should be fine. We'll render one frame. Output individual, no stereo, top bottom. Rendering is individual. Now that's the input of the image. This should be fine. And I want the output itself to be on, on our. I'll call it better sample and hit animate. And I should probably do this in 2.79 because I think indeed that the reason I'm putting effort into this whole thing is because for a few reasons stereoscopic 3d has been neglected and i think it's unfair to this incredible feature which not a lot of people use so let's do it properly image was on uh, it's on documents right yep loaded i think i forgot to to make it a uh, good view Stereoscopic, beautiful, 2.79, the best. 
uh, start 3D, top bottom. Let's make an im and a video file. Fmpeg, RGB. Good enough. Encoding. No, no, no one likes Matroska, MP4. Bugs. Now is a better sample thing. Okay. Better sample. Now is a video. We said what 20? 20 is enough. Render animation. How does it look like? It's probably look perfect. Open bugs as 3D. Oh. Oh, it's playing. It's perfect. It's playing on my other screen, but it's perfect. So now this is a better demo. Um, not sold on the resolution though. And it doesn't matter. It's good enough. <sighs> Close anything that's not 2.80. Take this file and replace with the new video and bank and of course we need to make sure once again is top up yep and this is the right one yep now the problem of this sample file is that it doesn't have that nice thing of going but it's okay let's save this as a new default and let's go back to to see the problem without my changes ah, so here you can see the left and this is the right clearly so much better again it makes it makes a world of difference to have a good sample files should have put more effort to that in the beginning so again if i force it to be one i could let's again let's let's babe steps no hurry here. You're probably watching with twice as twice as fast. I'm gonna it's still building, I'm gonna close things that don't need to be open. Like my linking is where what takes forever. But I would just ignore this build, I'm gonna build again. Close, close, close. And now. So now we're forcing, we create the cache. I'm curious to see what happens. Looking outside, it's a nice feel. Perks of not working from the office. Why did it? Um... Oh, like this one's gonna be wrong every single step of the way. Ah, that's good. Oh, this, that's why it's good to have a good sample file. Oh my god, it's so wrong. Cause this is not even the correct. It's 920, 1020, 1080. Oh, this is gold. I'm trying to think what the, what the heck's happening. So to force no cache works, let's try again. Save this as a new default, it's kind of cool. Uh, 
as you can see, it makes a difference if you can build very fast, which I'm not at the moment. And to force the cache to never happen, I'll just go here and return no, right? Yes. Now I'll see. Come on, us here. Yeah. This is a way to. I'm doing just this against an alias I have, but it's to build only the project I'm on and to link only the project I'm on. Since the. So it doesn't have to go to the entire uh, folder structure to see what changed to what not. But since the bottleneck here is linking, it uh, makes no difference. Let's write out write some of the findings. If I disable. This is exactly what we're trying, what we're double checking now. But as you can see, 21 minutes ago seems to be sound correct. Yeah, so there are going to be crashes, of course, because we're. I mean, few things that we shouldn't. Even gonna change this. So this is the one that should fail every single time, but works beautifully. So super confirm that if disable cache, things work fine. So the problem is in the cache system. Yeah, we even know that. Uh, so this one shouldn't matter. Let the cache be. What we wanna do is. So I want to try again. If if I force cache to be yeah, actually, I'm just trying to see if we use really getting the view from the context or from it is blah blah blah. Okay, so now trying to force. By the time you run the, try to get the cache. I should you actually should even mention here. Cache found. Can even do like this. Cash and then like this. And of course, the, edge, the correct is to do like this. Okay. So this at least is gonna tell us. You're wondering, will the light post this video if he cannot fix the bug? <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will, I will. Yeah, I wish I was with my my old. So I had an even faster computer at work with a faster CPU, but somehow it fried. So I wish I had my work computer now. 
makes life so much easier. So we're gonna do window view so we can see. See, cache not found and then cache found. And only shows the left right, left eye for both of them. That's kind of what we we asked over there. I want to try so many things now, but let's first try these and let's compile what they write down, the findings. Uh, I don't need this right. Okay, let's continue. So if I force context fill to be zero for and getting the cache. And that doesn't make sense. Got to check this out. Because it couldn't find the cache. So it won't cache. It, it, that, that will make no difference at all as if there's nothing. This is where Sorry. These are gonna just show the left and right with the <laughs> the right wrong. Cause the cache is not found and then cache is found. Anyway, the problem for me seems that we are creating the cache in the wrong way for the, the, the right fill, for the second fill. Because here, I'm going to write it down so I don't forget and it's clear. So if you force the view to be, to be zero when getting the cache, for both fills. Now, if I do the same for one, so this is super confirmed. What I'm trying to say here, it's a bit unfair comparison because if you really want to try left for both eyes, you need to do the same here. which I might as well do it. And then context local. Because the other one was calculating for the zero. Yeah, got it. And then we'll try to get for the one, but we'll try to get for the zero and it was cached, so good enough. So never it's a bit of a fair comparison. Why if you try it with the one, when, when drawing the right, the left eye will still correct. Is this what we got it? Come on, before it compiles. Ah, it failed. What I'm curious is if I force to be one when I get in the cache, what happens, right? Which is not what we're trying now. What we're trying now is if I force context fill to be one when getting the cache and when calculating uncached. It's what we're trying now. Compile, yes, it did compile. It works. It works as in. Oh, but now it's never finding the cache. It's 
never finding the cash. I have this small feeling the issue has to do with this pre-process, but it shouldn't be. Write down the findings. So if I force cash to be one again in calculating cashed, shows only right correctly. And but never finds cash. Which means even if I render again, which is scenario where the cache should be there so it's here. still cannot find the cache it's a bad sign <laughs> pretty good a pretty bad sign so you want to do the other test so That's if the code still assumes we do first the zero view and then the second view. Who wrote this line? Keep one now. This way we changed it, didn't do any difference, right? Yeah. <laughs> Struggling. It's not the first time I found a problem with the cache system better. I think I mentioned that already. Uh, this time is usually, usually useful to go for a walk and to clear the mind a little bit. And just otherwise you get too much stuck into the same problem. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, this is silly to even consider to change that. So let's go back to we're directly we're we're doing progress over there. Here. Don't need don't need don't need them. Oh, 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 o
Oh, 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 sorvete colore. What if? Something different here. So, what we're going to try to do now I think I tried this at some point already, but anyways. I'm just thinking like ideas keep coming like, what if the context itself is different for the second run? We're never gonna find out <laughs> what is even in the context in the context even. If it helps, you, you can print that, but I doubt it. I doubt it. No cache found or not. And then, so we are expect to have cache found every single time. And then context rect x equal this. Thank you. I'm even gonna do the other one Might as well. And then context. I don't expect them to be different for the views, but Who knows what will it do when I sing of a sound? Who do stand up and walk out at me? Lend me your ears. Actually, I'm so stupid that that won't do it. Um, that won't do it. Not so stupid. It's a process of thinking. First, <laughs> let's get rid of these. And then these. Okay. Now, what we want to do is this here. Probably need to free the eye buff. Yeah. Probably need to do like. I'm almost, almost sure. But I won't. Let's memlick. And this we can. So for now, the only difference. is that now the only thing you're doing is forcing cache to be <sighs> to be used for both the left and the right fill. So we're seeing if the problem is in the in reading from the cache or generating the cache. And if that works and I see I have plenty of plenty of ideas, I wanna try to swap the views here. And I'm gonna see, and then the other thing I wanna do is for both views, 
and swap them. Curious, curious I am as well. So that's probably gonna crash, right? The resolution is the same. Let's let's try again because I forgot to see the. Why is cache not found? Here. Why is cache Why is cache not found? Oh, sorry. Cache not found for left and cache found for right. Like why? Oh, because I'm doing. So I forgot to. Oh, um. Ah, that's correct. I'm just calling it three thousand times. And this is probably one of those issues, which is a one-line fix. Faz parte do meu show. Te pego na escola e roubo a tua cola com a de professor. Faço promessas malucas tão curtas quanto um sonho bom. Please color there. Se te escondo a verdade, baby, pra te contar. So what the heck? When are we adding things to the cache? Ah, oh. later. <laughs> um. <sighs> I should know which one is being called. Honestly, I'm just gonna copy the whole thing. So there we go. Se eu te escondo a verdade, baby. To all the things you can't really do afterwards in space, sequence effects before rescaling to render resolution has been done. Which means rescaling is probably afterwards. I'm grasping, uh, I think I know what the, anyways, no one wants to hear me bobbling, bobbling. I kind of want to get rid of this whole pre-processing. Let's do this. But this is the pre-processing. It is. 
So we are actually storing pre-processed. I just gimme gimme. Which music I like to listen when programming? No, oh, thanks for asking. <laughs> thanks for asking. Bank. Okay. Is USB process defined somewhere? So, quick recap. I'm actually going through the effort now and just hide this so it's doesn't get in the way to add to the cache. So now I'm in definitely mostly calling the same having both left and right view to read from the from the cache. The struggle is real. So I'm getting gray hair already, just for Thinking of that, I'm not writing down my findings now because I failed my experiment, so it's okay. And 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 now the console always found the cache. So reading from the cache is fine. Now let's try to. Now that's gonna be the fun part. So this is okay. done and left is right, it's correct. <laughs> oh, this would be beautiful to write. Left is right and right is wrong. Left is right, right is wrong. And now let's swap it. So now, if found the cache means this doesn't run, so we're just returning it. Beautiful. Oh, sorry. Beautiful. Oh my. So now I'm gonna try to. Maybe I should first try to do zero zero for both of them and then one one for both of them. And then I try to flip. Maybe the pip. Mm. I think it has to do a little bit with this whole pre-processing. I think it's kind of not looping over every single view it should. So it's not scaling the other view. That must be it. Oh, beautiful. What does it mean? The cache is wrong, which means what is actually cached is entirely wrong. And now <laughs> they are swapped, but left or no left is still wrong. Which also means if I do zero zero, it should be fine. If I do one one, both of them should be wrong. The whole pre-processing, when, when was this added? Where's my git lenses? Ricard Antalic, VSC cache rewrite. Yes, my friend. I suspect you broke. It's unfair to, to, to even assume that without checking. Sorry, he got. Big file, it's, those things are hard to... Of course, you can just go back 
in time and build a blender before this and see if the how it was before and then try afterwards see if the problem was introduced in this one probably was let's now let's look from the beginning and look at any sense of view so another good reason to use view instead of I. Of course, view and preview is they're very much alike. Some of this is wrong. Some of this is wrong. That's simple. I call it. I call it right now. Some of those are totally wrong. We get there. First, let's continue here. So you now I try both of zero. That should be perfect. And then both of one, so both of them should have the same error. But beautiful, congratulations. Yada, yada, yada. Let it build while I look at the, 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 the thing again. <sighs> so it's in the in both to sequence your space and then this other one. So it's both in the same file. Which I believe is the sequencer.c. But first, let's. Mm -hmm. Let's use bookmarks. I think, why are you even. Why are you even. Okay, we're not, we're, no, 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 okay, it's valid. We're already doing something special for those cases anyways, but. Because if it's the recent one, if the current one, just, anyways. And which confirms, when I first thought about talking about the, I, thought I mentioned this cache and, and talking to the developer that was, that is working with cache in the video sequence, sequence editor, that's Hikard Antalik, Hikard. Antalic, Antalic. And he's, he probably knows that, but I want, I'm just going to try to do this myself. So, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think it's Jesus Christ. So, you're expecting, I was expecting to get the exactly same result, result in both of them. And I think, I, I think we actually did say, So they're both equally wrong, but that's good. In the other case, I think it just has some problems with the alpha and whatnot. Okay, it, is, it doesn't really tell. Yeah. But you can see that there, like there's some garbage to fill in the alpha, but everything else is, uh, is correct. It's correct, I mean, it's equally wrong. <clears throat> and if you see only the call over that alpha, so, and a bunch of blah, 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 always found the cache, always found the cache. <sighs> so it's been, again, one hour since we found that the problem was in the cache, and now another hour to try to figure out that the problem is, is on story, I'll say, not retrieving, restoring, Reprocess, whatever the no story the second view the, the right eye so if I force to read from cache and swap then the swap right and then if I force to read from cache for both views and read left on both of them oh right on both of them 
they are both equally wrong. There's one thing they didn't test, but it uh, doesn't matter. Oh my god. So, what is the issue? And actually, I have a fix for this this whole time. No, I don't. <laughs> so, I think uh, I mentioned, right? I think the problem is those. I will, Jesus, there's, I will once again go over the, how many calls we have for this? One, two, three, four, five, uh, plenty. Okay. First, I think I will, I will hide the current, let me, let me switch branches. So this is fixed, VSC. Stereo, yeah, super generic. Uh, clean up, rename E to view ID. I want to do a few more of those, but I want to stash those changes aside. By stash, I mean literally git stash, save, uh, 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 force. The force cache. I think it's like this, like force cache. Yes, which means we're back to here, back to black. Now what I do? I want to once again. Okay. Blah blah blah. So now I want to go over the changes from this. I want to go over those three changes here and make sure first I want to rename them. So let's go to them one at a time. And this is where we are already. Oh, this for image. I would change because of what I was going to do is renaming only. So it's fine. But has nothing to do with the what we're trying to fix. I mean, yeah, if they, they, they think if it's a, if it'd be alive, it'd probably be a bit more interesting because people might maybe I can actually read and, and, and have something to talk while doing those things. Again, int view ID, view ID, view ID. Do, 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 do. Otherwise, you know, just it's me singing. Ugh. Again, not one. Can try next time. So in both, in both. Okay, so this for the image. Now it's probably the same for movie strip and then scene strip. Okay. And of course, the only one that's really, oh, I forgot one thing. They're probably in order. Yep. And also to remove the I, ain't I, where is that declared? Here. Go out. Okay. Now I'll do the same thing for the movie strip. Oh, I did this already. And for the scene strip as well. Cool. Oh my God, Yaka. Am I in the right function? Yes, I am. Oops. Because we're going bottom up, which doesn't make that much sense, but to 
the law, are you sure there's no more elegant way of renaming things? Oh, yeah, they are. But I'm not in a hurry. Doing those things also help to, to bring to set a little bit. Goodbye. So first and foremost, you should build. No reason for this not to build. The trick to build the project also, oh, exactly, kernel here. Also helps to catch compile errors quickly. So 3007, so 67, sorry. Oops. And any other? 3579. Three six one three. Oh, did I remove? If I didn't, it's gonna complain as well that this variable is not being used. Okay, seems to be good enough. The changes I did. And I'll never commit those changes together with the fix. Actually, let's. This can get, this can go to master like now. Didn't I create a branch? Oh, <laughs> I had a branch already from last year, which anyways for March last year, so one year ago, this is actually master. Yeah, it is. <laughs> And bug was introduced. So I had a branch already with that name, so it didn't it refused to create the branch. Let's delete the branch. Farewell. Stereo. Let me remove it from my git my GitHub account as well. I use it as, as backup, so hmm, doesn't exist there. Okay. Or this is the Polinto and the other one is, I never know, oops, no, anyways. <laughs> cool, now I can once again create a branch just to keep things clear. Go back to master, make sure, again, I could just commit this to master no problem, but I won't. Okay, we're back here. And did this build, right? So now let's go back to this blah, 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 do render. Movie strip, blah, 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 what was it called? See that my energy is already like going low. Ugh, movie strip. Okay, so that very suspicious commit. I was suspecting here, right? Now why would you That should be easier. There, yeah, this should be. Let's 
first let's run this for both Oh my god, I think I'm it's, it's starting to understand the code, which is... First, let's... Uh, which is that maybe the way we're putting things in the cache... So this is gonna, probably gonna, this should make... This will make the cache to fail. So I see one my like this now. It shows stash. This Jesus Christ. Does anyone know how to? Anyways. Now oh, where was it? Uh, line uh, three six six seven. One thing I never really managed to do uh, in a nice way is to to actually use uh, bookmarks. Do render strip and cached. No, sequence render strip. Here. Because now it should not, it should fail to get a cache for in both cases. Ugh. I should probably put time, some time to understand what's the difference, what's the difference between the raw cache and the processed. But I think we tried, right, and it fails for both of them. So it's not the case. Oh my God. And I'm trying to think, what can it be? And, yeah. Which means, so the problem is whatever we're putting, whatever we're putting the cache is wrong. Now, when I force the cache for both views and call them, did I manage to read the left from the cache? I think it did, but then it's because I, anyways, I think this code here to add to the cache is so different from the code here, which makes me wonder what the heck is that? Like why here we go through the trouble So an interesting task to be to so many options. <sighs> Little water break. 
And we're back. So, I should have done this a long time ago, so easy to break. One thing that bothers me big time, big time, is that we, want, we, we go through a lot of hustle, right, to store something. And to start the, the, the left view. But when, when it comes to this, the, the right view, you're calling one function and that's clearly not enough. So let's... Uh, I don't know if I have context here. But anyway, so what I want to try is to bring everything we have, <laughs> basically all these function calls. So first, uh, let's just add a few prints here. Print if, yeah. I want just to, I want to have an idea of uh, what is called. Sorry. Yeah, that's the only one. Hypothesis uh, preprocess. Does this process or just shouldn't process, right? Shouldn't process. Yeah, correct. Should always this should be constant to be honest. It should be constant, but it's not. It's okay. It's okay. So just want to double check that none of those none none of this is called or it is called or it's not called. Just to triple check it. Now that I think of it, I could have paused every single time I would compile. But then, but then, there will be no music, there will be no singing. And I believe, I think preprocess is being called. And there's for the final fix, you probably can, uh, I don't know, reutilize some of the Uh, which changes we did here? Oh, now you're just not uh, just not putting <clears throat> the left one in the cache. And I'm interested on this one. B B is called. B is called. B is called. And B, my friend, is D. So basically, what we want. I believe, probably want to check, blah, 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 blah. I'm assuming we need the preprocessing. Who cares? It's going to need to be revealed anyways. And then if, 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 so preprocess should be true in this case. What the heck is it begin? Why do we keep defining things like in be oh mm. hold on let me focus here. So before one thing I like to do is like this. So we can dump the code here. Oh, a bit more plus. So we can dump the code here and not worry about formatting. Then you can see what part of this is useful. You can even just compare, what the heck. So that's the correct thing. Cost is zero, so we're just ignoring this whole cost. False is false. So, well, let's try something different no uh, begin blah 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 so what exactly the difference here so 
This is the same without the cost, okay? And that's the thing we first are adding the, the raw. Then to, to do this whole in buff process, maybe so that's the in buff we need to add. I'm, I have this, so that's the thing. I have this feeling that what we need to do. Uh, let's just show me things. Uh, nope, no, here. So let's pretend the cost is going to be zero. If I close here, can I already remove the? No, can't. Okay, now I can. Begin is zero. We're just ignoring it. Proxy image. I don't care about the cost. <laughs> Rich. Okay, I have a feeling that a part of a big part of the problem <clears throat> of the problem here that we are storing. I don't think it's this one, but it's like blind gas. Okay, just try that one. But I think this one here. I think if you want to pre-press pre-process. Uh, no idea. Let's just assume it's false, false. I think I checked before, no? Okay, maybe we can actually, we can actually. Anyways, for now it doesn't matter. Context. You can still do it. Okay, 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 okay. If let's do a thing here, Boolean preprocess, but fault you call false probably the initialization of the variable. Correct. How do we know if the proxy image? I'm if it's a sequence I'm movie clip, so it's false. Dude, it's here. It's your friend. Oh. Okay. Why don't we let's let's simplify our, our life. Are we using I buff? Yeah we are. Now let's stick to Let's stick to this. I think we got something here. Okay. So the process is true. Blah, blah, blah. Just copy and pasted. Did it even read? Interesting. We probably had a problem here. This should be its own function. Okay, but since we're just quickly exploring, of course I'm fine. I just oh, it's I'm buff. I buff. I think no. Yeah, I'm oh, but capital B. Capital B. Okay. Ta ta ta. Uh, reset timer. Pfft. No such thing as timer since we're. I have conviction that this. might be what we need. Now, is this freeing the I'm buff? Anyway, let's not 
Oh, 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 did you see that? Look at that. No, it's only for proxy image. Anyways. Not good. Uh, I think I did something stupid. Uh, some false positives. Let's clean them up now before it's too late. Ignore those. This is because of the out format. Okay. Of course, to do it for real, would probably I'll just double check if. Oh, it was from the original code. So I'm sorry about that. So this goes back. I just hope let's 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 uh let's be civilized. Okay. okay. Blah blah blah. Of course, this is what we usually do. It'd be like if this is equal, just continue. Classic, classic. I think we don't need this. Ah, I hate when I do that. Okay, okay. Although I think it's in this case, I think we can afford an extra thing, looks cooler this way. Let's see if I messed up the code too much. Uh, I did. Yeah, I did. It's missing one. What the heck? Now I'm just messing up the code. Maybe this? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Perfect. Of course. Okay. Build. Oh, use preprocess not. Yeah, we uh, we're always we're assuming you always would want to add the preprocess, no? Let's go back to the. Mm -hmm. So close. Now these always run. No, it might as well. Just, just, just uh, the cost sequence push the raw thing. It's the raw and the eye buff. Oh, okay. So I need. No worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. So we need here is to define this outside. It doesn't need to be, it can be here. Oh, is this going to simplify the code a little bit as well? Oops. And then we can use these instead. Mm -hmm. Ugh. 
then we can add these instead. This is how we do. I do iBuff, SQL iBuff. Yep. Beautiful. Uh, we're calling this twice, why? This before over there, uh, I'm both to sequencer, no, it's not. So this doesn't exist here because we called this earlier on. There's really all, that's all there is to it. So it can even, come on. Or are we using the, no. Oh, I missed the old Blender code style. Reprocess bang. Okay. Oh, I like the. I think that I like the readability of this code a bit better, to be honest. And when you're the com the computer kind of optimize optimizes it anyways when compiling so it doesn't matter as in like the generated code should be the same <sighs> just double check what else I changed in the code And I know it's small enough, I don't... So technically, all you're adding... Yeah, we are... Anyways. That's a terrible sign. I was thinking exactly that now, like if it's crashed now, we just give up I just hide this for now oh Oops. One thing that's wrong here is this. Which we both know is not why things are failing. But still worth trying. Look at the code. And now time has come. Ah, oh, look at that. And it was found. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, two hours and a half. Problem fixed. Now, should I bother with the proper fix? Because I have, an, I have a feeling that you're gonna have the same problem with images. Don't try? Let's try. 
so this is for image seek for video right image sequence apparently I need to free some stuff so this is for let's add single images uh, I had this in uh, the document Honestly, you can do this one. Now let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, I think it's projects even. Nope. Let me find this off screen and then be right get right back to you. If it was in documents, projects. I have it here, right? Multiville. Yeah, here. Thank you. Let me copy this. Uh, this file off screen here quickly. 2020. Multiville. Demo, ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta. actually everything to my bugs S3D. Okay, I just move it here. So this is my image. Uh, again, I want it to be multiview, stereo, and it was individual files. Yes, and if you render. Ah, it crashed. It's a good sign. I really think it has it has exactly the same problem for images because so first we don't need these anymore. It is for the render strip, and now let's do for let's take a look at the render image strip. Thank you. here it probably has exactly 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 the same problem uh, let's just quickly see if the problems there or not mid sequence s3 okay I should I should I should I should save this as a top bottom to be a proper to be exactly the same scenario right and honestly, the best way of doing it, just take this, go to video editing, add the video we're playing with now, and honestly, just save one. So, what's the source dimension? Dimensions 960. That's not true, right? No, it's not. What was the file? Okay, let's show you rename. Better, simple, blah, blah, blah. To better, uh, better, simple. Four. And just so file still works, we keep a link to it just because. Anyway, so. There's a file and just want to render one image and save it. That's all. This is the single top bottom. Thank you very much. Now go back here to our sample file, image sequencer, editor. Oh, I can save two of them. We don't want, right? No, we just want a single one of them. So let's rename, let's remove. Single bottom left, right one, and then move the single bottom left to be standalone. Oops. Oops. Really? 
refresh thank you very much use smooth fill this top bottom see same problem let's save this as a different file it's gonna be single could always be, could they could all be in the same file but single image so now we go here to the single image and let's just copy so view Now, oh, this is so hateful. The, anyways, the naming was a bit different. So this is the old one. Let me just see if there's a thing the same. Local context, sequence, blah, 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 yeah. No, that's the old one. Yeah. Sequence in both, zero, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Now, compiling. Just to be fair, it doesn't mean that the issue was introduced in that commit. I was complaining about earlier because maybe at the time was still working and the whole pre-process thing changed afterwards I don't know and it definitely needs its own function to avoid repetition and to avoid this error in the future so that's what I'm gonna do in the final part of this video so this is the one of the video so not the image still working fine now let's open the image one. Things may crash because of um still because of memory, because the way we are creating things. Anyways. Uh, 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 check this out. Beautiful. And third one was what was seen? Does we have this somewhere? Oh my god, I have so many. So many windows uh, open. Okay. Nope. Anyway, that commit. See, maybe at the time, yeah, it's probably already broken at the time. So what I can even check. So this is the sequencer that see with that we're changing. So let's just take this file and get show. Where we even editors space no it's kernel so mm, how do I find out let's go to that function over this one here the the render no no the other one this one here no it's not this one uh, I forgot which file was I think it's the render sequence blah 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 I can also just look for this comment it's gonna show me Nope, nope, no. No, no. Ah, anyway, now I'm feeling a little pathetic. But we're looking at this one here. It's the sequence render strip. The render, the render, uh, let's make this render. 
this one. Is this the one? Yeah, that's the one. So let's look at this beauty on here. So the time of that commit is it just functions called everywhere. Oh um, boy. Is it in void or it's an above actually? Oops, here. See, at that time I was already expecting this pre process. So this commit introduced the issue. So if you go to the commit before that, I don't know, it's doing, maybe it's already, see it, maybe it was already there. So enough side tracking. We got image, oh, I needed the commit number. Uh, oh, this one, yep. So we, let's go for this scene, render scene strip, which I assume had the same problem. So let's already so let's move this to its own function, shall we? <sighs> so what you're doing is wanna do this in the original one, which is the this one. No, that's the it's the one I even have on my clipboard here. No, it's so on, so on, so on. Jesus I. It's not that, it's the sequence render strip, yeah. It's getting dark. That's how long this is taking. So, so on this whole... Beauty here. To be its own function, so I can use it over and over and over again. And let's do it. I don't even know where. We're just gonna do like before this function. So three eight here. I will turn off the light, be right back. And we're back with a little bit more of light. So just copy this whole thing. Okay, return whatever, no. On. And actually, and then of course we do the Def definitely want an I'm both as an input and we definitely we want to declare this in a few places but for now I just copy this whole thing here I think we can actually only honestly I have to think here because if you compare these with the the move blah 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 what's it called 
render oh. I don't like it either way I should just send it as, as it is and but it's too ugly to have that much logic repeated over and over and over again and then the next time we need to add something we're gonna have the same problem again so yeah I'm not happy and you shouldn't be happy either so this can be in the logic this can be in the logic this whole cost let, let's 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 uh let's play okay let's play So you want a boolean preprocess, preprocess. You definitely want the imbuff. Do you want it to be a const? Maybe. Say, keep repeating the same mistakes over and over again. Now I'm <clears throat> sorry. I'm tempted to do it like this. If you almost that this shouldn't belong here. Anyways, get cost. It's supposed to be a float. So we stop the count and start again. Uh, I kind of didn't want this to be included in this logic. <sighs> but sure, whoever coded that should, have, should probably have something good in mind. Why do we even care about that? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this why not? We can pass as a, as a parameters as parameters. Why do I have filling the wrong? No, the right one. Okay. Now begin. What's the clock, right? Something, something, something clock, which I clearly never used in my life. What does it call? Clock. And we do this as a point. Now, clock is begin, right? The name. Yep. Begin. And then here, of course, need to do if begins, not no. Check. Star and then star, which might be zero. So, again, why do you do this twice? Who cares about that? Really, it's called totally won't be accepted. Uh, after uh, later on, I can post in the description if, like, a follow up what happened. Let's simplify a brief code. A bit strange because because it talked because it keeps speaking to myself. Because here we're ending regardless. How do they call this function? Sec render strip cache at. It's a really bad sign that there's already a function called this in the code. No, there's not. Good. 
Remy Remy context state. Oh, I just copied the name so I can just. Now this is a begin, so now the pointer. And you, my friend, can all go to hell. This is a timer in my ass. And of course, sorry, changed time buff. Yes, I did. Why did it change time buff? And the beauty is, we do the same for. friend here I can just come and copy some of the arguments here, but I think it's... <gasps> I even think I know. I, I even think I know how to fix the the, the crash I was getting. It's clear, so I can copy stuff. Blah blah blah. Right. Context sequence C frame. I'm buff, it's going to be the the fill. Sorry, see for here after. So we move this one here. I'm buff, see for all oh, the state. What do you state for? Did I just copy an argument which I don't use? Did I just copy an argument which I don't use? I did, sir. I did. Did I just copy the, the function? Yes, I did. That's why. We even use sequence. I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay. No states is required. Okay, so once again, sequence above C frame, the no is prox image false, is pre processed. I think it was false we are doing. Yeah, false. Now, what you wanna do is this is equal this is equal this. Oh, looks so beautiful. And now we do the same for the other ones. I can show you the world full of magic and wonder. Sorry, Prince, will you ever need a magic card? Good angle. On air, I love you so. That was egg buffs, right? Egg buffs. Don't you clear there, close my eyes. A fantastic point of view. No one to tell me no. And where to go? Holy word for me. Where was it? 
was it? Did we just look at it here? Why does it was really a function to do all this? No, let's pretend it's not. Uh, let's pretend it's not. Again, let's go back here. Full of magic and wonder, sorry, prince, we will never. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, here. Also, I didn't fix for the. I didn't fix for the, the other one for the scene. That's why. For this one. That's the one we decided to be smart about it. And so let's just find. We're looking for this. Yeah, but that's exactly. Oh, but now it's the raw. You know what? I will ignore this. If it's a serious problem, I will deal with this later. Because I think the raw has no problem. The problem is only with this whole pre-processing mess. One can hope. Close, 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 close. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go to our new function. How's it called again? Probably need to kind of move it around, or at least let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Para gente poder dar risada. I think we got it. What's here? Is it ugly? A little bit. So we're not returning. Well, that's uh, good enough. I don't like this timing like spread throughout the, the entire code. So honestly, I will violate my own rules and move cost here. And I don't care. How is... I'm missing something very obvious here. Because who is even changing cost? Like, I'm missing something very obvious here. Let's cost, cost, cost. Oh, because we're, didn't I do this? Oh, because cost is equal, that's why. And then we do cost again equal blah, 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 blah. So it's really different cost. Sure. Honestly, who cares? Cost is zero. Then here. It begin it's because we did this, we bother with this, which means again we reset. Yeah, but then oh, that's why. I did the same mistake twice. OK, 
okay code style I think this baby is ready are we using all the parameters we should otherwise we're gonna complain anyways One thing I like to do is while I come, oops, okay, no, I, any warning is important. Oh, of course. No, oh, here, bang. And use the process not used. Yeah. What do you mean? It's set here. It's set here. It is here. Well, oh, it's in the um, three eight four three. Then there's a cleanup. Now there's no more. Oh, 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 oh. still. Shouldn't I do these in my? Shouldn't I do these in my code as well? Actually, first, I buff is always true here, but we, we, we were running this, sorry, running this before. Honestly, it can be user pre-process, fine. No, it's not. Almost there. Where did I get this from? That's how the thing, only thing I'm wondering. That's that's freak. so tired this is when you start making like big mistakes big mistakes oh, I can't think anymore <laughs> three hour long video I uh, should write down the the timestamps already I'm gonna do it here that was like one hour find and cache to our nail it down two and a half or something don't remember what so that's why i should write this before anyway it's three hours polishing patch can also do the classic let the Bad reviewers complain. I just want is there any chance that these will create something that will be called
Oh, it's not even based on the on having an eye buff. There wasn't no eye buff. You didn't even. Ah, oh, gosh. Let's do this like this. Constant boolean. You know, that can work. Yep, there we go. Do I like it? Nope. Should this one be above then? Yes. And I'm mixing, cleaning up with changes, then maybe things won't work. Oh, I still hate this begin thing here. Hate it big time. It's ugly. It's ugly. Super ugly. Pre process first. Getting hungry. Thinking about making a soup tonight. And of course, uh, yep. is this how we're calling? Use preprocess. No. And this need to go back. This code. Fear nothing, Padawan. Oh, that's why it's because it can, uh, it was part of the code removed. Kind of do two tests for. There we go. Just don't make it. Constant, it should be fine. Which means we do want it to be true for those scenarios. And then let's also make sure here we call it call it properly. How is it not defined? Didn't uh, didn't I bring it back? Didn't I bring it back, sir? Beautiful. So there's one thing I need to do, sorry. So we have a 44 I buff array and we have 9 to 1 I buff array. Jesus Christ. So you see I buff array being used 
in three different files and above as array above array anyways i really want to simply to unify this later but it's a cleanup <sighs> Let's go play. <laughs> oh, yeah. Store to new pointer of type 3827. Oh, my bad. I hate this thing. We also could. We also can make this three times, three thousand times faster. Which is, well, not faster, probably slower. But is. This hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. clock now. If begin, this could be clock, clock, and then I have throw the code, uh, clock to begin that if clock then clock else again equal equal now it's like this clock local do i need to put a pointer here i think so which means there's always always a clock Okay, I have this and then this. This and this. Actually, we messed up the style again. If, else, if, if. I think that's correct. I can't find this thing. I don't know if we should set up. I don't know if it's much better. Yeah, that's what we're aiming at. Echo, echo, beef, buff, buff, uh, buff, buff, uh, image preprocessed. Float coast. No, I can even repeat this. Verbatim. Okay, this as well, float coast, which means we can remove the other coast down on here. If use preprocess, float coast, sequence this, then blah, 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 reset timer. Now, I just out of curiosity, how's the, <coughs> what's the initial value for clock? Okay. I don't need this. Uh, I do actually. <clears throat> we 
we can even is it expensive to have this Jesus Christ let's simplify our lives oh I don't like to be called this got this timer Clock is probably a protected word, so so we don't. Wait, this is all sound, and this is like a mess. I'm trying to unmess. This doesn't matter. Can't you just pass a clock every single time? Anyway, if timer, just move on, so it doesn't matter. Otherwise, yeah, sure. Sure. Don't break my heart. Say you love me again. Isn't clock literally just a number? Aren't we overdoing by passing? I'm already like way out of focus here. If I wasn't recording, it would probably be on Twitter right now. What the heck? So the game, okay. And then, ah, and then you do the whole costing thing, right? And then what's the cost? So you can store the cost. Which means, if the timer didn't come. But every time we do it, no, no, honestly, We should my ability of making decisions is affected. This is gonna be begin. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. That's it. That's it. Cost. That's it. And magically, where did I add this? Oh, okay. Uh, begin comes before user preprocess. Okay. Oh, uh, here, of course. And just gonna be uh, like gonna show the wrong number for everyone else uh they need to really no they can cast like what type is that even is it its own thing they need to oh good 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 call which needs to do this. Wasn't this what you're doing? The beginning thing? Or I can't call from here. This is the clock. Get out the clock. And I'm probably gonna need to still change it. But we're so close. Maybe what you can do is to use these instead. It's a lie, you're a liar. 
look here. No, I don't. <sighs> now, in the moment, deciding whether to use clock or or not. I will use this the way the way it is now. Bingo. I don't like it. Not my problem. Hmm. 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 Gentlemen, gentlemen, oh, the satisfaction. Is it too crashes? No, see, also fix the memory problem. Now, let's open the image, let's do the cloud, the whole thing. So, this is the video sequencer. Now, let's go to the image one. Congratulations to us. You only took us three hours and 23 minutes to fix this. Okay, uh, let's com quote in cold commit. And then I do a few things. So it's a fix. I'm gonna have this. Fix. Could I commit directly? I could. I won't. I will get people to review it. And people have a bad uh, VSC. Let's simplify. Stereoscopic strip issues with mismatched dimensions. Beautiful. That's it. And now to, to change this for review. First, let's... Uh... <sighs> okay, let's do what's follow. Let's first update my Blender, do the latest, and then go back right here. Let's also do a rebase. Okay. And let's quickly look at the, this is the one we want to rename. Cherry pick. Okay, so, so I'm going to commit this to master and this, I'm just going to make sure it builds. But this doesn't need any reveal. It's a cleanup. It's good enough-ish as it is. And we can also reiterate later. But since my patch requires this to be requires this then might as well commit this first um, I don't expect people to f watch the whole video it's two hours three hours and, and a half but let me know what you think and let me, let me, I will do a wrap-up soon but still, I'm curious, like, the parts you've seen, what you think. Mm. 
committed then go back to my branch do again a rebase just to be triple sure Pip. so now I only have as the patch is actually quite small but uh, but I'm quite happy with it so yeah Hmm. Anyway, so and now we will do a arc diff, which compares this code with master, and let's add as a reviewer's Hikat Antalik, which I assume is going to be this his nickname. I'm going to add Sege just because, just because I think I'm going to add Sege as a subscriber. Unknown. Straight from. Now, if you go to this, to the original task, you can see that this shows here somewhere above, above, above. It should. Oh no, I need to do it manually. But related tasks. Edit uh, here. Revisions. So now they're linked together. So anyone that comes to see this and hey, I want to fix that, you're actually gonna go all the way here, and that's the code we produced today. Okay, so whew, that took us some time. Um, <laughs> that's about it. That's uh, that's what it takes sometimes, especially if it's an area which we are not familiar with. I could have asked uh, the, the developers of uh, the sequence, sequence editor for some tips. I wanted to try to go a bit more blind in this way, but I think we did well. And it's not that typical to take that long to you know, revisit. It's well, like three hours and a half. And yeah, we could probably do it in two hours, especially if not streaming. Could probably do a few things faster, but in two hours, I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe it took us one hour just to find out that the issue was was the was the caching. At that point, it could have stopped. Maybe just updated the 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 the, the task with the bug report and say, "Hey, the issue is cache. If I remove it from that, that person would probably take. I think it took me one hour, give it or take, to go from that point, check a bunch of stuff, and then to get to the conclusions." To the conclusion of the that where the issue was, I think that could be definitely be shortened by asking someone uh, that, that more knowledge in the, in the area. But then I'd have to wait a little bit and add to the tracker back and forth. So I wanted to make this whole thing in the video, and then took us what to, took us another hour. <laughs> what was it for? Oh, to find then yeah. But anyways, uh, I hope you like it. I will add uh, like a timestamp of the video to help people navigate here. Let me know what you think. We can always make more of this. This is I don't do a lot of coding nowadays, as I mentioned, but I like when I do it, so might as well share it. And that's about it. Thanks so much for staying for that long or for visiting this video. Until next time. Bye bye.